हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू यूजीसी ऑनलाइन लेक्चर ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर एस वाई जे सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग कंसेप्ट ऑफ यर सिलेबस राइट फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर वन दैट इज एडवांस्ड वेब डिजाइन अंडर दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर द टॉपिक दैट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इज नथिंग बट द डिटेल वर्किंग ऑफ मेटा टैग सो इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न आर मेटा टैग इन डिटेल अलॉन्ग विथ थियोरी एज वेल एज एट्रीब्यूट एंड एग्जाम्पल्स सो लेट्स बिगिन द टॉपिक मेटा टैग द मेटा टैग इज अ टैग इन एच टी एम एल दैट डिस्क्राइब सम आस्पेक्ट ऑफ कंटेंट ऑफ वेब पेज द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट कम्स इन आर माइंड इज वॉट यू मीन बाय मेटा और वॉट यू मीन बाय मेटा डेटा सो लेट्स क्लियर द एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ द टॉपिक वॉट इज मेटा डेटा द डेफिनेशन से इज मेटा डेटा इज नथिंग बट डेटा अबाउट डेटा इट इज समथिंग दैट वी आर डिफाइनिंग टू डिस्क्राइब आर डेटा इन मोर डिटेल मैनर एंड इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू हैव सच काइंड ऑफ फंक्शनैलिटी इन योर वेब पेज देन यू हैव टू वर्क विथ मेटा टैग of html for so meta tag is an empty or singular tag as you know student in html the tags has been classified in two different types one a tag which contain opening as well as closing tag and another a tag which only have the opening tag the tag which only has the opening tag in html are known as empty tag or singular tag so the meta is the best example of that singular tag which only have the opening tag this tag is always go inside the head element or header section of your web page and typically used to specify character set page description keywords author of the document viewport settings and etc basically meta tag is used to provide details about the author of the web page it is also used to give some details about the detailed description of your web page it is also used to provide some set of important keywords regarding to your web page so if you are planning to have all these things collectively in your website you can work with meta tag meta data will not displayed on web page as i have already told you the meta tag is used inside the header section and we all know contents are visible on web page if they are getting printed inside the body section but here we are not using meta tag inside body section we are using inside header section that is the reason all the different contents of meta tag are not practically visible on web page meta tag is used for search engines it is also used by different browsers and other web services if you are talking about the browsers then how to display the content or reload the page if you are looking forward the search engine then search engine is using different set of keywords that we are defining using meta tag to search different kind of data over the website so after learning the detail introduction part of a meta tag now it's time to learn different set of attributes that we can use along with meta tag so attribute list attribute number 1 is name it specifies the name of the meta data like author keywords or description in short we can say name is nothing but the unique identification that related to any of the following that might be a author name that might be a description that might be a keyword or that might be a copyright details attribute number 2 is content it can have any textual matter related to the name indicates what content is always used along with name attribute if you can see example number 1 we have written meta name equals to author content equal to bal bharti here the content of author is bal bharti second one meta name equals to description content equals to advanced web designing here the value for content attribute specifies 
the name of the topic that we are learning that is advanced web designing next example meta name equals to keywords content equal to html5 learn html5 list and etc here the values for content attributes are given as a keyword which indicates these are the different sub topics that we are going to learn under the main topic that is advanced web design so after learning this two attribute let's proceed towards the further attributes of meta tag our next attribute number 3 is char set the full form says character set basically it comes with two values that is utf8 and big 5 utf stands for unicode transformation format means if your website is supporting for indian characters then you have to set character set value as utf8 but if you want to use some of the chinese character in your website then you should set character set value to big 5 so normally this attribute specifies the character encoding used by the document this is called a character encoding declaration question comes like what is the practical use of char set attribute in our web page so students i will give you a small example today if you can see whenever we are going to visit any of the website so many of the website supports multilingual facility means what that means we can observe the content of a website in english if you want you can change that content from english to marathi if you want you can change the contents from english to hindi also so the website that supports multiple languages are known as multilingual website and if you are planning to have that particular facility in your web page you can use char set attribute of a meta tag the next attribute number 4 is http equive http stands for hypertext transfer protocol and equive stands for equivalent this attribute provides you the similar functionality as that of http response message header it contains different set of attributes like refresh set cookie content type and expire let us go with some set of example i have typed meta http equive equals to refresh content equals to 5 here the page will get refresh after every 5 seconds so that 5 indicates the time interval in terms of seconds after which your page your web page will automatically gets refreshed next meta http equiv equals to set cookies the browser sends the cookies back to the server the question is what do you mean by cookie or what do you mean by cookies so cookies are nothing but the temporary files that temporary stores the data of a respective website such as your username password card details and etc next one meta http equiv equals to content type content equals to text or html char set equals to big 5 it specifies the character encoding for the document in a content i have written the value as text or html it indicates that if my browser fails to support the html code then entire code can be considered as a simple text next meta http equiv equals to expires content equals to user id equals to pqr expires equals to i have put added some value for date and time it indicates that the page session will get expired at specified date and time so these are the four different attributes that we can practically used along with meta tag and they are nothing but first one name second one content third char set and fourth one http equiv after learning the meta tag in detail along with attributes now it's time to learn how to use meta tag in our html code so here you can see i have prepared one demo code for you all that help you to understand how to use meta tag inside html code here i have prepared a small 
document for you all inside which I have typed the same code that just now you have seen on your screen. So if you can see our code starts from doc type HTML followed with HTML head and title. The title of the web page is demo of meta tag title tag close and I have started using the meta tag. So meta name equals to author content equal to UGC IT. So here UGC IT is nothing but name of the author of a respective web page. Next meta name equals to description content equals to advanced web designing. It indicates that in this particular website we are going to learn the concept of advanced web designing. Next meta name equals to keywords content equals to working of meta tag. So this content actually indicates the perfect keyword value that we are going to learn because as you know that advanced web designing consists of number of tags and number of attributes but from all that collection of tag actually we are learning the working of meta tag over here. Next one meta name equals to copyright content equal to copyright at UGC IT 2021. It indicates the copyright rights reserved to UJC IT. Next meta HTTP equal equals to content type content equal to text or HTML and care set equals to UTF-8. Why I have taken UTF-8 over here because we are planning to have the support for Indian character. So once we have done with all the different contents of meta tag now it's time to close the header section and starting with body tag. So body h1 align equals to center we have written simple text as welcome to html5 h1 close we have used br tag two times then i have opened one paragraph tag inside which i have written all meta information goes in header section once you have done with the code close the paragraph tag close the body section and close the html tag and now it's time to save this particular file in our own folder for which you have to click on file save as soon as you are going to click on save, one save as dialog box will get displayed in front of you from which you have to visit a particular drive inside which open your folder and type a file name as meta followed with extension dot html. Save as type, select all files and click on save button. As soon as you are going to click on save button, you can visit your folder. You will find one file has been saved with a name meta.html. So to get the output from this particular file, you have to right click. There you can find the option open with and select Internet Explorer. Once you have selected that option, you are going to get the final output of a particular web page in front of you. So if you can see whatever contains students, whatever contains I have written inside the body section, are only visible on this particular web page. Rest of all the different contents that I have written inside a meta tag has been passed inside the header section which are not practically visible on your web page. So this is all about the detailed discussion regarding to what is meta tag followed with some set of attribute and followed with a perfect code that demonstrate the use of meta tag. So student, this is all about the topic of meta tag. I hope you all have understood the concept very well. But still, if you are having any query, any doubt in your mind regarding to this topic, you can comment your query in comment box. Notes for meta tag concepts are provided in a description box below. Below to this particular video, you will find one link has been provided. If you can click on that particular link, you will able to download the notes related to meta tag concept. So students, see you all in next session with some new interesting concept of information technology. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.